Sonny Donnelly, IFL TV in association with MJ Marbella. I'm on the road today with Larry the Natural Ekendeo. Larry, you haven't got a fight date confirmed yet because it seems like no one wants to fight you. Tell me what's happening. Um, I meant to fight last week Saturday. Um, I've been like, pulled up uh, for some strange reason. I don't really don't know why, but I wouldn't say no one wants to fight me. I just think I haven't done nothing but risk so far. I'm sure if I had like a decent title or something that I know everyone wanted, I'm sure people would step on to fight. But I don't think anybody want to fight for any, like, just fight for the sake of fighting to prove a point. It's more of a business with the boxing these days. So yeah, very not, true. So. So, well, there's not a lot of belts uh, sort of available at the moment anyway, because uh, obviously Sam Megan's got the Commonwealth WBC International. He's fighting Glenfoot for the English. Frankie Gavin's got the uh, European. So there's not much on offer at the moment. Is it, are you finding that a bit awkward? Um, I'm sure there's always a way around it. I'm sure there's always um, there's always a, a way of um, getting to fight one of these guys. Because actually, now I just turned 33 the other day, so I need to I need I need to step it up now. Yeah. So you, you, you turned pro quite late in your life at 29, nearly 30. What made you turn proto late? Um, I had immigration problem. I'm sure everyone would probably have known about that story. Now I turned pro um, like two months before I turned 30, only because I moved up there. Um, I had immigration problem then, but yeah, I turned late. But I've always lived a good life, so I still feel young. I feel strong, so. That's, that's good. So how's training gone uh, at the moment? You still keeping fit? Yes, I'm still ticking over. You know, I've got the, um, I've got the, the sponsorship with um, with my sponsors, the, 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 the Harry Hair, you know, the Nigerian Union Bank, and they've been a guard of gold. They've been um, keeping me going, you know, because it's hard taking time off work to concentrate I mean, to, to prepare for a fight and then you didn't end up fighting, you know, you've got so much bills to pay, you've got mouth to feed, but with these guys, I want to say big thank you to Harry Kerr, Union Bank of Nigeria, Organic Gold, BoxFit, um, Ben Lee, these are the guys that kept me going. Yeah, that's you know. good, I know you got, you got about a million sponsors, you've got loads going on, yeah. Um, trust me, it's not as much as you think, <laughs> it's just, you know. Um, it's hard and I think that's one of the reasons why I'm finding it hard to get fights as well because, you know, I'm Nigerian, boxing is a business, so you have, um, you can sell tickets, definitely, you, you're gonna, you're gonna, your, your future is bright in the boxing, but if you can't sell tickets, it becomes a problem. You, you can sell tickets though, you sold like, uh, quite a, you sold about 300 tickets for your last fight. Yeah, I did, um, that's what I'm saying, but... I'm sure if I get the Nigerian coming out now, that's the, that's the first time I actually had Nigerians to, so, to come out to support, and that's that's feel because I get support, I get their support from the British. You know, I just just get chucked into the Nigerian community now, so I have the Nigerian coming out to support me, and I promise you, look, my next fight is going to be packed because I've got I've got the Nigerians. They're going to come out hard this time. You know what, so, I mean? so, what was it like growing up in uh, Nigeria as a as an athlete? Um, it's tough. Come then. It's tough. You know, it's never, it's never easy. It's never easy there. But you just have to, you just have to keep going because that's all I've got. That's all. That's all. I, that's all I had going for me. But the boxing. I started pretty young and um, if it wasn't for boxing, I would have been in so much trouble. That's what kept me out of trouble. I had my mum disappeared for about two years because she she owed, she owed debt and she can't she can't afford to pay it. I didn't know I didn't know at the time, but when she came back, I was already a national champion, so I had few money to pay off the debt and, um, and and get back on a business. So what was it like for you being sort of the head of the family and having to sort out problems? I'm not, I'm not the head of the family. I'm actually the last. I'm the last one on my mom's side, you know, I'm not the head of the family, I've got brothers and sisters, but 
sometimes it's not it doesn't it doesn't go by the age for someone to be the one that would that would uh, be the breadwinner. You know, it's not by age. But yeah. Look, luckily enough for me, I managed to uh, get something suited for the family. You're the main breadwinner now though. You are? Um, I wouldn't say that. Um, for my family, my own children, and yeah. you know, my, my own, that, I can, I can vow for that. That's my responsibility. Then, yeah, I do, I do try and help my siblings as much as I can. But you know, I've been going ups and down with my career, also with my, my children. Talking about uh, family and your children, I know you had a bit of time out of boxing due to your daughter being a little bit poorly. And the iFilm viewers, when I did ask you about it, there was comments asking about her health. So, can I have a little update? How's she doing? Oh, she's she's fine now. The cancer is the last um she had um, after the last um what do you call it? After the last um chemotherapy. Chemotherapy. She had a timeout and um, everything seems all right so far. And she hasn't been back since then. So she got appointment next week Wednesday for a checkup. Fingers crossed, everything is fine. But she seems all right within herself. Um, yeah, she's back to our hotel, chatty and a bit cheeky. <laughs> Just like her dad? No, I think it's more of a mum to be honest. <laughs> That's fair enough. Alright, well Larry, hopefully we see you out soon and winning titles. Thanks for talking to iFilm and big up all Larry's sponsors for keeping him going. Yes, I would like to say big up iFilm. You guys are always the best from Day Dot and also big thanks to all my sponsors. Harry Hair, Harry Hair. Remember that in Harry Hair, and if anybody's planning on going away, take the Harry Hair, they're the best. And Union Bank of Nigeria, they're the best. Organo Gold, you get anyone that's a coffee lover, please check them out. Organo Gold. And um, Box Fit, Ben Lee, they started from day dot when I have them with Tom Pro. Big shout out to them all. Thanks, guys. Shout out, thanks for the welcome. Cheers, mate.